Hey, Mr. Parker here to review one from Arc Entertainment. It's called Autumn Blood. It was made in 2011, but it will be getting a DVD release very soon in the, here in the States. Uh, this is kind of an odd film, almost like a thriller art film if you really want to uh, get down to it. Uh, I would say it's not necessarily an art film, but very uh, told uh, unconventionally. I mean, in the sense that there's not much dialogue in the film. It's, it's a very quiet film. Uh, most of the film is very quiet. Even during dramatic scenes, the score doesn't get overly loud or have any of the suspenseful things like that. Uh, so uh, it, it's a very interesting movie in that aspect. Uh, it essentially follows in the very beginning a uh, uh, man is murdered in front of his children and uh, he leaves. Uh, the, the man who kills him leaves. He turns out to be the mayor later on, Peter Stamari. Stamari, the actor, you know, Armageddon, Fargo, Big Lebowski, tons and tons of other things. Uh, Constantine, he's a very good actor here. And, uh, period. But in this movie, he's uh, fairly decent. Uh, I, I don't think he gets a million things to work with in here, but uh, he always does a great job. Anyways, what happens is uh, our kids are now older and uh, their mother uh, passes away. This leaves uh, them on their own. And uh, the mayor's son comes looking for trouble. He uh, rapes the girl and then later a uh, group comes back and they rape her again. And I was thinking... This is a bit excessive uh, in this terms, but uh, essentially the, the group comes back and they want to, you know, fix their mistakes so no one finds out. What happens is a, is a, a chase through this uh, gorgeous landscape and scenery and locations, uh, you know, uh, in the mountains and the woods and fountains and not fountains, but uh, waterfalls and things like that, running water. Uh, it's, it's gorgeously shot. It's in a, a beautiful location, probably a one of a kind location here. And uh, the film, like I said, is very silent. Uh, all the dialogue spoken is almost all necessary dialogue. None of the characters speak very much. The baddies in this film, uh, with the exception of Peter Stomeri, I think aren't very intriguing. They're just there. They're just their character types. Uh, there's the one that really doesn't want to be there, the really mean one, and the one who started the whole thing. And they kind of just fall into their character types. They don't, they're not necessarily bad actors at all. It's just that they don't have much to work with in their character types. In the film, uh, people are basically what they uh, what their job is in this movie. There's no real names in the cast. They're all the, the you know the children or the mayor, or the butcher, things like that. No one has any uh, real real deep character so it's more about the storytelling in this one and it, it does a pretty good job uh, I think all in all it's a it's a it's a very very well-made film it, it's gorgeously shot you could just look at it and enjoy it you don't really care what's going on uh, the rapes aren't uh, typically brutal or anything like that most of them are off-screen for more of a you know it's not that kind of film to exploit the rape or even just, just kind of show the aftermath more than anything else but uh, I, I would say it's a pretty damn good movie. It, uh, I would recommend it. Uh, like it said, it's like a thriller. Uh, it, it does have a storytelling going on there with the mayor and the earlier, and that kind of comes a wrapping around. You kind of have to make up your own mind what happens. Uh, I have a couple theories, and I'm pretty sure one of them's right, but I don't want to get into it. We'll spoil the movie. But a social worker starts to come around, and you kind of get this feeling as a social worker going to get there in time to save the kids from the menacing psychopaths in the woods. Uh, not going to spoil that either, but like I said, uh, well shot, uh, well acted for the most part, even though some of the characters are kind of very two-dimensional, uh, but the leads are very good, uh, especially the female. She does a pretty good uh, performance, a brave performance, a very probably cold performance running through the woods and snow and things like that. But yeah, I'd say check this film out. Uh, it, it is, at first I was thinking, I hope it doesn't go in this direction where we're just going to see uh, your typical uh, small town idiots doing small town idiotic things and there's nothing else to it. But uh, it, it didn't really. Uh, I mean, there is those parts in the film. But uh, I'd say check this one out. I was happy with the ending. Uh, kind of, you know, saved it for me, made it a little bit different than your typical crap. And uh, like I said, it was, it was also very very well shot and very well made movie so that's another reason to see it and a uh, brave performance from our lead actress uh, it's called autumn blood uh, there'll be information in uh, the box below uh, you know links and release dates and things like that but uh, mr. Parker thank you very much for watching and have a good one